Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Life Lifters from Lakeshore Community Church, where you can get a daily dose of encouragement in just about five minutes. This week, we are talking about God's handiwork through Christmas, specifically God's humility of Christmas. We're looking at the humility of Christmas. We're looking at different key parts of the Christmas story to see how God showed up and how he changed everything and how humble he was through the process. And today is one of my favorite stories is about the shepherds. On Monday, we talked about the city of Bethlehem. Tuesday was about Mary. Yesterday was about Joseph. Today, specifically, is about the shepherds. Now, you may recognize this passage uh, if you grew up watching the Charlie Brown Christmas. This is the the famous scene when Linus takes center stage and, and recites the scripture to tell Charlie Brown what Christmas is really all about. And I absolutely love this story and how the angels showed up to the shepherds My question always is, why the shepherds? Why the shepherds? Now, you may know the answer to this, but I'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit to verse 14. After that they had appeared, a multitude of heavenly hosts suddenly appeared before the shepherds, and they say this, Glory to God in in the highest, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them, the shepherds, and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who were lying in a manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about them, excuse me, told them about uh, this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds were saying to them. But Mary treasured up all of these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as had been told from Luke chapter 2, 14 through 20. So the Savior of the world is now born. The Messiah, which had been prophesied for so long, which God had planned and orchestrated from the beginning of creation, the Savior of the world is born. The angels appear crying glory to God in the highest. Because the Son of God, you know, at this point, the Son of God is born in a huge marble tower and beams of light are stretching across over all of creation, over all of the earth, reaching every corner of the earth, and everyone's praising God. No, that is not what happened at all. It's not what happened at all. In fact, the Bible says that he was born in a manger, a feeding trough. It was dirty. It was gross. And now the angels show up, and the angels don't appear to the kings and rulers of the time. Who do they appear to? To the shepherds. Now, some historical accounts say that the shepherds were more of the outcasts of society. They were kind of awkward. They, they lived on the outskirts. They did their own thing. These were the lowest of the low. The book of Hebrews says this, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted just as we are, yet without sin. You've heard that verse before. In fact, you've heard that a few times, even through the life lifters. But we just keep coming back to that because the humility of Christmas that we see, we saw it in the city of Bethlehem. We saw the humility of Mary's response. We saw the humility of uh, Joseph and his willingness to even take on the call. And now today, we're seeing this humility of two things. Yes, Jesus, how he was born, but then how the angels appeared and whom they appeared to. Had all things been revealed to the kings and rulers first, I don't think Jesus would have been able to sympathize with us. It's almost as if this was on purpose. But God knows the lows of life. God knows the hardships. God knows the struggles that we go through. The shepherds were of humble means. Some were not even liked. And yet they were the first ones to find out about the birth of the Savior. And they spread the word of Jesus' birth. And people were praising God as a result. They were the least of these, and yet they were made the most important. God is mindful of you. He wants you to know that first, that he is mindful of you, that he cares for you, that he loves you. And in fact, he's going to reveal it to you, and he has revealed all his truth to you. That he sent his son Jesus for you, and just like the shepherds had realized, he was born for them and for everyone else. Such humble means that God showed up in. First going to the lowest of society, the shepherds, so that they would tell. And it grew from the bottom up so that Jesus could sympathize with us. That while God existed from all eternity past, became a man for a short period of time, and during that time, lived through everything that we have gone through. 
from the very humble, poor means to being the savior of the world. And he wants you to know that, and he wants you to know that first. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Father, thank you so much for the truth that you have revealed through us and the fact that you have made us first just as you made the shepherds first to know. Lord, I pray for anybody who's out there who's struggling right now, who's just trying to figure this all out. Lord, Lord, I pray that, that your love would just get a hold of them, that they would be encouraged today and for the days and weeks and months ahead, especially in these trying times. Lord, we thank you for how humble you were and how you can relate to us and that therefore we can relate to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.